Good morning, everybody, and happy Friday. It's the end of the yes, week. Yes, we're ready for Friday. <laughs> Hooray, hooray. Welcome to Pushchair Expert, our live show that we're doing daily at the moment. Today, we are going to look at something really special, the brand new for 2020 Silvercross Pioneer and Wayfarer, because lots of people ask us what the difference is. So we thought if we run through the differences, show you it really, really close, we'll get the cameraman close up to look at all the new fabrics, all the new features. Yep. We thought that might be really helpful. Now, we are live in our store at the moment, so if you hear all the bits and pieces around you, don't worry. But today we've got a giveaway, haven't we, Georgia? Yeah, and another exciting one. Anybody spotted our giveaway? Our little cheeky monkeys here. Yeah. <laughs> So today we are going to be, I'll just get rid of my iPad, we are going to be giving one person, have to be in the UK, but the chance to win this absolutely gorgeous skip hop bandana buddy. Now this is not just a toy, it's no. more than just a toy. So we've got the hoop on the top, so you can attach it to your car seat or the side of your cot or anything, your push chair, etc. It's a beautiful toy. This bit here is a removable teether. So you can take that off, and if little one is teething, they've got something to nibble on. Loads and loads of features. We've got a crinkly legs. Yeah, our cameraman are crinkly legs. Maybe I should have that near my microphone, not yeah. near the camera. <laughs> do, it, do it at the same time. Two crinkly legs. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got a little mirror on there. Um, lots of little bits for baby to get hold of, little one to get hold of. So it's a lovely interactive toy. Yeah. And he's a monkey. Now, he doesn't have a name. So if you've got a great name for a monkey, what would you call our bandana monkey? Let us know. What would you call it? Uh, oh, you put me on the spot I now, know. Jo. You put me on the spot. I don't know. We didn't practice that one. Marvin no. the monkey. Is Marvin already a monkey? I think he might yeah. be. He's a magic man. He is now. <laughs> so all you need to do to win on the monkey today is just to comment. Ask us any questions that you like. Tell us what anything that you like or tell us anything you dislike as we go through today's show. Because today, as I said, we are looking at the brand new... It is. Wayfarer and Pioneer literally just come into store. He's going to fall over now. Yeah. Sleeping monkeys. So, do, I've got the iPad here. So, do ask any questions and we will do our very best to answer any questions that you have. So, let's pop them side by side. I'll spin mine around. We'll do oh. <laughs> Which way are we going? That we'll way. go that way. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. So we've got one set up with the carry cart and one set up with the seat unit. Now, the big thing about this really is, and if we pop it, perhaps pop it back a little bit so our cameraman can get it in. Do you want to stick sideways? I'm just pulling it back so our cameraman can get a better picture because it's um, a bit of a squish for him. You can't see him at the moment, but he is basically inside one of our inside stands. Inside a cube. Inside, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we like to make life difficult for our cameraman. So... Let's have a look. We've got, on this side, we have got the Wayfarer, and on yep. this side, we have got the Pioneer. The big difference between these two push chairs is the, the wheels. wheels yeah. You know, in a nutshell, Pioneer has bigger wheels, Wayfarer has smaller wheels. The frame is very similar, isn't it? The fold. Yeah, everything. Um, you chassis, fundamentally, this bit all up here is the same. The difference is the wheels. Your seat unit is the same. Yeah. Your carry cot's the same, etc. So we've got lots of people joining us this morning. Um, I love it when people join us and make comments. Jodie says her niece would love that as she is teething at the moment. That would be the perfect thing. I'm hoping she's going to teethe on this, not the push chair. Yes. <laughs> don't chew the push Hang chair. Hang that on there. So make Hang sure that on there. Lily Johns says she loves that blue. Yeah, we love yeah. that blue. Brand new with four new colours. And this is Sky that we've got on here. Yeah, Sky. It is beautiful. Jodie says she loves her silver cross. What have you got, Jodie? Which silver cross yeah, have you know. got? We'd love to know. Carol says she's getting addicted to these videos. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, ladies. That's good. That's good. good. Yeah. yeah, it is good. Lots of people joining us every yeah. day at the moment. We're trying to do them all around about 11 o'clock. So... Jane's written Monkey Magic, Monkey Magic, Magic Monkey, Monkey Magic, we like that. Penny Johnson has joined us, she absolutely loved her Pioneer. Well, this is the new Pioneer, so new fabric, so do have a look. Becky Carson says, does the cameraman have a name? So what should we call, we've named the monkey, <laughs> should we name the cameraman as well? <laughs> Our cameraman today is William, Becky. And we're waiting for him to walk backwards and fall over, but whether he'll do that or not, I no. don't know. Claire Wright is watching us. So loads and loads of people watching us, lots of comments coming in. That's great. Somebody's going to win our monkey yes, today. Yes, going to be today. 
So, I'm just going to pop that down for a moment, but we will come back to it. What do you get in the box? So, in the box, you're going to get your chassis. If you have a Wayfarer, you've got your slightly smaller wheels. Pioneer, slightly bigger wheels. Yep. You're then going to get your carry cot. Um, you get your apron on and there. And your apron on there. And you get your seat unit. Now, we've got it set up in two colours, because fundamentally, your Pioneer carry cot. So, if you had Pioneer in the sky, this is the same carry cot as it is on the Wayfarer. Um, and you get your seat unit as well, and you yeah. just move your hood over. Yeah. So really, really easy. Now, the one thing that I want to have a look at and get our cameraman in really, really close is at the fabrics because they are beautiful. The one yeah, thing lovely. that Silver Cross do so well... I'm when we saw saying, the pictures, I was like, oh, are you just too excited already? And then obviously now seeing it in person, it is lovely, and especially, obviously, the sky colour. We it's love the sky, don't we? It? We do absolutely love it. Perfect for a boy or a girl. Yeah. It's, it's not a really boy blue, if and that makes really sense. And it's really nice against the um, chrome chassis as yeah. well. So, love the colour. It's the little details, like here, the leatherette here, yeah. and our little um, UK, and to show cross. that it's designed in the UK there. So, if we want to run through the carry cart, George, if I grab the iPad, can you run through our carry cart for us? Of course. So, you have got your nice big hood. Because you use your um, carry cart hood on the seat unit, you do get that um, bit of a larger hood there. You get your pop-out visor. It does tuck away nice and neat. Um, at the back, you get your little peekaboo window. So, when you're using your seat unit, it just allows you to see little one if they are world-facing. And it does stay up there nice for you. And then you've got ventilation i really like it because the material just stays up for you it's not it's, it's not a magnet it. we'd love a magnet and it always just looks neat um it does pop all the way down so there's no buttons to take it down magnets again in your apron so it always look neat it's it not... does it always looks neat and tidy yeah. and i do like that it really annoys me when aprons are a bit wonky but yeah. because of the magnets on it it, it just, just makes it look it in place. tight and neat and um, you also get obviously your slide buttons just to keep it secure and then velcro all the way around the side. But I say, if the cameraman wants to come in, I say you've got a really nice bamboo um, liner in the carry cot. It's really soft. It's beautifully soft. Now, you can't feel it, obviously, on camera, but yeah. if you were in store, obviously, you know, you've got that opportunity to yeah. have a look and touch and feel, and it is beautifully soft. It's a good size as well. Yep. Oh. Carry cot will last up until nine kilograms, six months. Your child yeah. is unlikely to get to nine kilograms before they get to six months, let's face it. But they're always safety tested for a higher weight limit than you're probably going to actually yeah. need. One of the things on the new Wayfarer Pioneer, just particularly with the sky blue, if you have a look, you've got your blue leatherette um, here yeah. and your matching on your bumper bar as well. Yeah. Now, we've got it um, on this one. We've got this beautiful shade of grey, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, it's lovely. Really, really nice grey. And I like the detail, and again, on the handle, it's a grey handle, so they've kept the, the colour Just matching. kept it all going. So, shall we swap places? Can you run through this while I look whether we've got any questions? Yeah, Is that all right? Right, we'll jump over here. So, I say, with your Pine and your Wayfair, your biggest difference is the wheels. Yeah. Um, you have your smaller wheels on your Wayfair, and then your Pine is, you've got your nice big... Um, chunky wheels there. So your Wayfair is really good if you're that kind of person that perhaps lives in the city, on and off buses, yeah. you, need, you know, you're not necessarily going to the park lots. I mean, you'd be fine going to the park, but obviously your Wayfair is going to do slightly better in that parkland where it's a bit more bumpy because it's got bigger wheels. Yeah. Where we are, people in store tend to gravitate towards the Pioneer so that they've got that option or, you know, a bit more versatile. Yeah. Um, so I'm rocking this as if there's a baby in it, but there isn't. <laughs> <laughs> we all tend to do that. It's all right, though. <laughs> so say you get your nice, uh, keep the same hood on um, the, it's the same hood for the Wayfarer and the Pioneer. So you get the same features of your, your visor there, your peekaboo window, and your ventilation. Again, magnets, just to keep it nice and neat. You have got your nice big seat. So your big seat will take up to 25 kilograms, so it's a long-lasting pushchair. Um, it's not something that will only last this one, so up to two years. Um, it would definitely see you all the way through. And look at the detailing on this. It's, it's beautiful. And um, the finish on Silver Cross is... You yeah, can't beat we, it. It's, yeah, it's no, really we, nice. We keep going on about it, but it, it is really, yeah. really lovely. And what is so nice on the new 2020 versions, you've also got your comfort harness yeah. as well. And again, that little bit of detailing here just really, really lifts it, yeah. you know, against some of its competitors. So we've got a few questions coming in. 
So we've got lots of people loving the magnets. Laura's got the pioneer in Onyx. She had bright blue for her first baby. And she loves the fact that they can get colour packs so they can change yep. it, which is really, really useful. Um, Becky Carson says, hi, William. So mm -hmm. everybody, should we should have him on camera yeah, one should day. Yeah, should we grab it? <laughs> should, we, should we film? I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> I don't think that's a really good idea. So any tips for cleaning the chrome up on the chassis? So my big tip is, first of all, use something like a duster yeah. um, or a lint-free cloth, just so you don't get bits and pieces, and just you know, lightly rub it. If you do, fine. You can get something called um, a magic sponge. I don't know if anybody's seen them. But again, if you just use that on any scratches, that can just help. You, you are going to get scratches on any type of frame. You know, there is not a pushchair that does not scratch yeah. slightly. Um, just be careful. But there are features like on here, when you fold it, you've got your chrome bit on your handle here, you have, and we'll show you the fold shortly, but this rubber strip you can see here will touch the floor, which will stop the chrome from touching the floor to help stop it from scratching and also any scuffs on your yeah. leatherette. So it is well, well thought after. Yeah, but definitely thought about it. So Zoe's saying she loves the magnets. They're a very good design. Yep. Yeah. If I was designing a pushchair, it would have magnets on it. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah. Um, Lucy's asking whether it comes in any other colours. Yes, it does, Lucy. It comes in four colours. We've got two out. And what we'll do is I'll add some more pictures of the other colours for you when we come from being on live. Uh, live. Laura says she likes the big hood. Yeah. yeah. It's and a nice big hood. The pop-out bit as well. Stops the sun, but also stops the wind. Mm, yeah. You know, if you're suddenly caught in a bit of a downpour, it can really, really protect baby. And it's, again, when you don't need it, it just does away nice and neat. You don't realise it's there. No, and well. if you have got it in carry cot mode, you know, if you are caught in some bad weather, you can just pop that up. Our cameraman can see. Pop that up, and it is just going to protect little one from the elements. They do come with rain covers. Yeah. You know, but sometimes you forget your rain cover, if you're anybody like me, mm. or, you know, it's in the bottom of your bag, and by then your baby's wet. So it's quite nice that you can protect them from the elements quite naturally with your carry cot. Did you I think that's it. Oh, should we do the seat facing the other way first Oh, of all? yes. So your seat can and the recline. Parent facing. You can recline it in three different positions, um, which is nice. And you do get a nice click. I do like it when a push chair clicks. You know it's in place. You know it's good. No, it's all nice and secure. You've also got an adjustable calf rest, which we'll show you the other way around because it might be... Oh, oh sorry. No, it's all I'm right. ahead of you. She's, <laughs> she's running ahead here. So you pull out your little wings there and then you can swap it round to world facing. It's really easy, isn't it? Yeah, so the little one will move into the seat at six months old and say will last all up to 25 kilograms. And this seat is what we call a bucket seat, so it's suitable from six months. So Wayfarer and Pioneer seats are suitable from six months. So yeah. carry cot for the first six months and then your seat unit. Now we're facing the world because sometimes little ones want to face the world and at this point is might be when you might drop the calf rest slightly yeah. just to give them a little bit more room. So yeah, when they're little and they've just moved into the seat, you may want that calf rest up just so they can support their legs. But then obviously as they get older, they just want that little bit more leg room and it will drop for you. They have then got their foot plate which is quite useful when they get to that sort of two years old and they want to climb in themselves. In themselves. They've got a step. Just remember to put the brake on, otherwise you're going to end up yeah. in disaster. <laughs> Definitely. But I say it's really, you can fold it with the seat on, but I'll show you without, um, just to show you how it works. Again, using your wings, you can just pop that off. And it's the same fold for the Pioneer and the Wayfarer. Yeah. My um, favourite thing with the Silver Cross fold is you don't have to empty a basket. Whilst we're talking about basket, look at the size of this basket. You yeah. can fit many lots of, the monkey of monkeys toys in. in. <laughs> loads and loads of monkey toys. So thanks for all those comments. We'll just pull our monkeys back in because yeah. somebody's going to win one today. I'll grab them out. But I say, obviously, I've, you see I've got the rain cover in there. I don't have to take that out to fold it, which is really handy. There's nothing more frustrating than folding it, lifting yeah. it into your car and everything's on the floor. Yeah, but the fold is really simple as well. You have just got a button on the right here. Pull your two triggers up and it will just go down for you. I always describe the silver cross fold as it sort of goes, yeah. sort of relaxes into yeah. itself. You don't have to force it down, it just goes for you, which is really nice. So, you do get your catch on the left-hand side, so it just means you can pick that up from anywhere. Um, it's not going to open up on you as well. Don't want it to open up when we're getting it in and out of the no. boot. Definitely so not. you fold on your Wayfair and your Pioneer, as we said, is exactly the same. It is a slightly larger fold than some push chairs, so do check that it's going to fit in the boot. Give us a shout if you're not sure. We can send you all of the dimensions. Yep. 
and then getting it up, just like getting it to collapsing it is super easy. Grab your catch, and I just tend to place my back, foot on the back just to help me get it up. And you hear the click, so you know it's in place um, and secure again. Other features on the frame, you do get your button for your height adjustment. And look how high that goes. Yeah. So great for taller people as well. And it's got the nice angle, so it's a little bit more gentle on your wrist, just a bit more natural. Um, it's somebody's asked about the push. Now, don't panic. We're going to take it on a push in yeah. a moment, so don't worry about that. And test track. Yes. <laughs> we, and, sorry. Sorry, I'll just mention about the swivel wheels. So you can lock and unlock your front wheels just with a slide button. And that is the same on the Wayfarer and the Pioneer. And they just clip into place, so you don't have to yeah. line them up and then use the clasp. You just do it, and it will automatically go into place. Yep. Yeah. So shall we have a look at some of the accessories? Because people love a bundle and this product, you can buy it on its own or you can buy it in a bundle. Lots of people will buy it as a travel system with a car seat. Yeah. And we've got accessories. People always ask about the accessories. Now, for those of you, we'll use our Wayfarer perhaps to show some of the accessories. For those of you who are a little bit taller, they have just introduced these elevators. So if I grab this off, like so. Do you want to grab the elevators for me? Thank you. So they just clip on either side. So you've got your left and right, which is handy. <laughs> yeah. Baby brain is real, we know that. And then that will just allow you to lift up your carry cart. So if you are a taller person, that I'm not, um, it is perhaps a more comfortable place. It just makes getting baby in and out a little bit easier. I actually personally quite like it on the elevators. Yeah. I think it just lifts baby up. I've got a really good view of baby's face. Yeah. So they can smile at their mummy and or daddy yeah. and, or, or older brother or older sister. But I do like the fact that they have introduced those yeah. elevators and they all fit on the Wayfarer and the and Pioneer. And it will work for carry cot and seat unit. So, Great feature. Again, when you've got it with the seat unit, it will allow you to push baby up to the table, or toddler up to the table. So mm -hmm. if we're not using high chairs, which lots of people are avoiding high chairs at the moment because of COVID, but it will allow baby to stay in their own environment. And it's quite there. nice because you can bring little one quite close to you as well, where they just hit, go into the seat unit. Yeah, and then they're just, they just want to interact with you. Yeah, they um, just want to natter to yeah. you, or we just want to natter to them, well, probably. Yeah, yeah. More that way. <laughs> so let's have a look at some of the accessories. Now, I've got it in the sky here, but obviously it will match whatever colour you have. So we have got their foot muff. And well done, Silver Cross. We love the new foot muff. Yes, it's lovely. Know, there is no doubt about it. We love it. This little bit here will go over your recline. Here, yeah, your recline button. So that will mean it won't slip down. So however wiggly your little one is, it is not going to move. You're going to thread your straps through here. And your straps have three positions. So you thread it through there. You other straps. It is super soft. Again, we've got our magnets. But the other feature that I really like, if we imagine, obviously you probably go for a matching colour. Maybe you wouldn't. I don't know. You can mix and match. You could mix and match. I'm not going to put it on completely. But with your magnets, this is just going to go over your bumper bar to look nice and tidy. But if it is very, very cold, you've got the option to do it up on both sides and keep baby really, really snug. You've yeah. got lots of zips on it, so you've got your two zips here. You've also got your zips on the bottom. And as you can see, the bottom bit is not fleece. Your bottom bit, hopefully our cameraman can just whiz over. Your, your bottom is nice and durable, so if the little one is one of those ones who are jumping in and out, walking one moment, riding the next, you're not going to get this muddy. You can also take it fully off so it can act as your seat liner. Yeah, it's nice like a two-in-one, isn't it? It's really nice. Now, you've grabbed your favourite piece, haven't you? Your favourite upgrade from the When it came out of the, the box, old... I was like, oh, look at that. Your so favourite like... upgrade from the old Wayfarer and Pioneer. Yes. It's the changing bag, and obviously it's in the, you can see it in the sky colour here. Um, so it will match your push chair, but you can obviously have it to match whichever colour you choose. Um, but I say it doesn't even look like a changing bag, does it? I know, it's, it's such an it's, improvement yeah. on the old Wayfarer Pioneer bag. It, I, I love it. Yeah. I'd be quite happy carrying that round. Yeah, it's really nice. So you do get included your long shoulder strap, so you can um, have it hanging on your push chair. And the push chair themselves um, do have these little lips on here, just allowing you to hang your bag. Um, and so it won't fall down. Bag goes onto here and then it won't fall down. So we've got lots of questions coming in. People are loving it. Uh, uh, it's getting lots of thumbs up, which is great. Yeah. Natalie loves the blue one, loves the sky. 
Um, Alice says, the hood is perfect, really big, brilliant for all weathers, absolutely. Karen is loving the blue. I'm so yeah. glad we got the blue out. Yeah, it's really nice. So glad we got the blue. Um, Cassie would love to win the bandana monkey. Ruth has asked what age is the seat suitable from. So your seat suitable from six months. Carry cot for the first six months, then you're going to move on to the seat. Alice also says the basket looks a decent size. Now, if you've already got a child, you will know how useful that basket yeah. is. You will fill it, you know, whether you put your changing bag in it. When a little one gets older, perhaps they've been to nursery and you've got your junk models and your pack They always want to bring something with them, so absolutely. you can always pop it in there when they've I'm a big finished. fan of a big basket. Laura says the basket is huge <laughs> and it's one of the features she was looking for when choosing her pram. Yeah. Leanne says she loves the size of the basket. Lucy's asking about uh, compatibility with car seats, which we'll move on to in just a moment. Um, Leah's asked whether you can buy the pushchair without the carry cot. No, you can't. It comes as a bundle with this product. Um, Alice, changing bag looks like a handbag. It's so it's, nice. It's really yeah, nice. I think that, I think that's definitely going to get some thumbs up. Yeah. So let's have a look at the car seat. The car seat. So Silver Cross do two car seats. Um, there was a Simplicity, it's now been superseded by the Simplicity Plus, and then we have got the iSize Dream. The easiest way that you can think about these car seats are there are two lots of regulations running side by side, and the best way that a lot of people understand it is older regulations versus new iSize regulations. And you, fundamentally your difference is any seat that is an iSize seat has gone through more safety testing. Yeah. So our older regulation seats that are still legal and still safe have gone through front impact and rear impact. Anything that is an eyesight seat, so we would say safe and safer, has gone through front and rear impact, but it's also gone through side impact and also rollover as well. And as you can see, lots of these seats will have more padding. But the Simplicity Plus is an improvement on the Simplicity. And the big thing that they've done on their improvement on the Simplicity is, and anybody who knows the Simplicity will be able to see this straight away. If you don't know the older Simplicity, it's more tricky. Yeah. But it's all about the internal padding. We now have a lot flatter position for baby to be in with the new inserts that are in the Simplicity Plus. When baby gets to, it, it's a little bit like Jenga, but we gently take things out as baby gets older. And this is on both seats. This is on all car seats. Yeah. But generally, and always check your manual, but generally when baby reaches 60 centimetres, um, which depends on your child, but four, five months old, that's when you're going to take the inserts out. If you're not sure about your car seat, do get in touch. Um, even if you haven't bought your car seat from us, we are more than happy to give you some yeah. advice on car seats. But both of these seats will grow with your child. The harness will gradually go up. We do find customers come into store for a car seat check and often they haven't raised the harness up here. They've left it where it was as a newborn. So if baby is beginning to look a little bit snug or uncomfortable, yeah, send us some photographs and we can check that out for you. Now, both of these car seats you can get an isofix base for and both of these car seats we can get adapters for so it can go on the chassis yeah. of your pushchair. You also have the opportunity to put a variety of different seats on. So if you've already got a car seat, do let us know and we can tell you whether it's been tip tested and safety tested with the yeah. chassis of this pushchair or any other pushchair. Right, how are we doing? Shall we explain how about, oh, oh cup holder. Oh, we forgot the cup holder. The oh, most well, how can we forget? What's the most important part? <laughs> we do have people and their criteria when they come into stores. Has to have a cup holder. Has to have a cup holder. Okay, Silver Cross do their own cup holder, so fits on really, yeah. really well. Um, and they also, rain covers come with your pushchair, but they also do a rain cover for their car seats, and it fits on the Simplicity yeah. or the Dream. Which is really nice, it's, in, it's included in that bundle, because it's something, you, you, if you're going to use your car seat on your pushchair frame, you will most likely need the Yeah, rain you cover. might be nipping from A to B and need to use your pushchair on, uh, your car seat on the frame. Now, our big advice to parents regarding car seats on the chassis of your pushchair is that your pushchair is for pushing, your car seat's for the car. Yeah. But there are times when you've just got to nip in and get some milk that putting this on the chassis is really, really useful. Another thing to bear in mind during COVID is if you're going to a supermarket, often you would have put your baby into one of the cradles on the supermarket trolley. 
Lots of people aren't wanting to do that for obvious, obvious reasons, reasons at yeah. the moment. Yeah. So having an infant carrier does allow you to keep baby in their own environment. So just something to bear in mind if you're not sure whether you need an infant carrier or not. Yeah. So one of the things that we do in store is we have some weighted dolls to allow people to test the push jets. Where's our weighted dolls? One by the door. I'm going to go and grab I'm going to go find one. one. I'm sending you on a wild goose chase. <laughs> we have in store our test track. It's quite a big test track. Um, we've got cobbles, we've got curbs, we've got a slope, um, which we're going to show you in just a moment. Our weighted dolls are the weight of around about a five to six month old. And when we hand these to our customers, sometimes we always give them to them to try because otherwise you'll feel like you're pushing a doll who is maybe a three-year-old doll. But these are special dolls just to give us a little bit of an idea. How's Georgia found one? I found one. And I found one. We, we do sometimes scare some customers when they come in and they, we go, here's a baby. And they're like, oh. But it is a good idea to just put your weighted doll into the push chair because it can feel a little bit different with some weight in. And my argument is you're never going to push an empty push chair. No. So why push an empty push chair around a shop? Because it's not part of real life. Yep. So do you think weighted dolls are a good idea? Did you get the opportunity to try one when you bought your push chair? Keep commenting. Do you know what? I'm going to take monkey around with this one as well. Look, we'll oh, put monkey they? in. Baby can have the monkey. Yeah, baby can have the monkey there. So we've popped it in and... Um, well, you can push yours empty, even though I've said you'll never push an empty push chair. <laughs> so we have our test track. If I take one with a carry cot, look, I can put my iPad on it. Yep. <laughs> so Handy. I can keep answering all these questions. Somebody's asked about, I've just lost the message, about the handle and is it adjustable, just in case you missed it. Yes, it is very adjustable. So quite often siblings want to have a push. Yep. They might not be able to see over the hood, so you'd have to pop the hood down. But that gives you that opportunity there. Um, they're able to use that. So let me just scroll back and we're going to get our cameraman to follow us round. So we always say, which way around should we go? Should we go that way around? Let's go around this way. So we're both going to go around. So we've got our yellow brick road. I'm not going to sing, but we could. <laughs> Are you going to sing, Georgia? No, I'm not singing on live. <laughs> we always say that dads, we should time them around the test track and have a big neon time, you yeah. know, who's going to win? Because the dads are really competitive. competitive yeah. And I mean, really, really competitive. How fast does it go? Can we have a race? <laughs> yeah, I think Georgia and I could have a race. What yeah. do you think? Yeah, good idea. So we've got a slope up here with a little lip on it, which allows you just to try different environments. Got our curb. Curb, yeah. So it depends. Some people are really gentle and some people are not. And then our cameraman's following us. One thing we always like to uh, say to the customers is if... Because they... Some people don't understand why you would maybe lock and unlock your front wheels. We, it's always good to try them. Try yeah. them when they're on the swivel, then try them when they're locked. Um, but yeah, what we would recommend on your cobbled surface here is just to lock your front wheels. This allows you to have a bit more control. So most people will try it unlocked and locked. Often your swivel wheels need locking. Generally, with, particularly with these two push chairs, you'll be all right in your general parkland. But if you've got somewhere with lots of tree roots that are sticking up, your wheel hits and spins, yeah. and then you've got problems, and then locking them is just going to help. So, so we've to got lock them, it's just a slide, and then it'll lock for you. We've got our cobbles in store, so you can try it out on the cobbles. Yep. So we'll go over there as well. Oh, Lia said she never got to use test tracks because of lockdown and COVID and she had to try, uh, she had to stay indoors. We'll, we'll use it for you, don't worry. Yeah. So it just gives you the opportunity with a bit of waiting to see how well your push chair is going to perform. Now, lots of people will have a push at the in-store. They'll have a push, they'll take it up and down. You know, we'll try it in cars and everything. Talk through all the different options. But then often, you know, you're spending a lot of money. So we also suggest that, you know, if you sort of you've got a couple that you're really interested yeah. you take it for a walk around store and we're more than happy for people to wander around store with the push chairs just so you've had a really good push and you can get a really good feel Gives you a good idea for it, what it will be like using it day to day because obviously there are different environments your shop floor is very different to anywhere else obviously you're going to go on shop floors when you go shopping um but it is good to sort of twist and turn and you know go left and go right and you know you can go around the houses Should we go around here pretend you're down a shopping aisle yeah you know here we go look we're having a race and this is where it gets fun for say couples they can come in and have a bit of a bit of a race <laughs> so we go around the corner through some narrower gaps i got our cameraman we could go on a bit of a run you've also um, in one of our other rooms, um, as you can see, this is more like your shop floor. 
But then in another room, we've got a wooden floor. So you've got all more little lips to go over just to give it a try. Again, you know, test out the wheels. How well does it work? But then the other kind of floor that you might use either in shops or if you're at home is obviously carpet. So we have some carpet to try as well. So we'll go through to our furniture den. You see, we have two cameramen. Our other cameraman tends to walk backwards. So William, you're not taking the challenge and walking backwards. So I'm going to make him take the challenge and walk backwards. <laughs> then we don't have to yeah. talk over our shoulder. So as you say, you can take it round store. You can have a look at all the other products while you're wandering around. Have a look. Oh, we've walked past our skip hop stand, but our bandana monkey today. Have a little sit, sit down Good on down, a yeah. nursing chair. Have a little bit of a discussion, you know. But again, it is about really testing these plush chairs out. You may be not going to go quite as like this with your own child, <laughs> but our little uh, weighted dolls really, it really don't now, mind. Weighted doll, does it? No, they don't mind. They don't mind at all. So it just allows you to have a really, really good test as you go round. And as you go round, you're always encouraged to do your hands as we walk past. There we go. It's good, that one, as yeah. well, because it's not it really... It gives you the perfect amount. <laughs> it does. We, we love our new uh, automated um, hand sanitizer stands. So we'll go back into the middle, because I think it is really very, very nearly, and we'll make the cameraman. He can walk the right way now, because it's a bit tricky walking backwards. We will go and draw our winner. Yes. So come on, Kirsty, let's go. No, Kirsty, no, it's called Georgia. I saw Kirsty out it's the corner me of my <laughs> So, who wants to win our bandana buddy? Has anybody got any more questions about the Silver Cross Wayfarer or the Silver Cross Pioneer or the Dream or the Simplicity Plus or any of the yep. accessories? Just let us know. We will get back to you if I've missed your question. Um, Leanne said she can't wait to come in and try. Having the test track is a really good, it's such a good idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we like the, we test, like the track, test track. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely like our test track. And having the cobbles, uh, if you are Lincoln or York yeah. or places like that with lots of cobbles, it does give you the opportunity just to try it on different surfaces. And obviously going through to the wooden floor and the carpet. Um, Zoe says she loves our furniture then. It's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we love it too. We love it too. So... I didn't think about that yet. Yeah. You've got to test your pusher. If you can get into store, test your pusher. See how easy it is. If you can't get into store, we can do a one-to-one -one video consultation with yeah. you. Just get in touch and we can book that in and make it as close to you coming into store as possible. Be with one of our experts, it yeah. might be with Georgia or myself or Kirsty or Laura or Kelly yeah. or Anna. <laughs> Anybody that <laughs> one we One of us. <laughs> one of us. So we'll be able to go through all the products, whether it's push chairs, whether it's car seats, yep. whether it's baby carriers, looking a little bit more closely at the furniture, you know, if you want to look inside any of the drawers or anything like that, or the blankets or, yep. or bouncers or high chairs, looking at how high chairs collapse, yep. perhaps it's and a good any, idea any for a I say, we, never, we always say there's no such thing as a silly question. We've not found a silly question. No. You might think it's a silly question, but it isn't. So we've got lots of opportunities because we know not everybody can get out and about at the moment. And obviously we have our website as well yes. and our social media platform. So we are here to help. You are not on your own. And we're quite a friendly bunch. Yeah, we are. If we've got cake and coffee, we will remain friendly. <laughs> if you're filled with cake and coffee, we're, we're friendly. <laughs> Absolutely. So I forgot to mention, these can be purchased on their own or you can purchase them with a, in a bundle. So yeah. if you need your changing bag, your foot murph, right, uh, you know, car seat, okay, yeah. base, you know, there's various different bundles. If you yeah. can't see the bundle you want on our website, get in touch and we can do a bundle just for you. Yeah, we can make your own one. Right, should we do our draw for our monkey? We should. I think I quite like him. <laughs> so today, as you know, all you've got to do is to comment and we are giving away our beautiful Skip Hop Bandana Monkey. So the way that we do it, we always do it live. So hopefully you've, you've stayed tuned in. So yep. give us a heart, give us a thumbs up um, if you would like to win. I'll pop him down there because I can't do both at the same no. time. So, Georgia, you're going to be in charge. What I'm going to do is keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Hopefully she won't keep you waiting too long. And we'll see who is going to win. So, Georgia, you whenever ready? you are ready. Stop. So our winner is Laura Stroud. Well done. So the comment that Laura made that I stopped on was I like that the handle is adjustable. So Laura, I'm just going to write congratulations underneath your comment just so I can find it. 
<laughs> when I come from doing the live. Um, so, Laura, get in touch with us. We will get this out on the courier for you and it will be delivered to you tomorrow, Saturday, because we do deliver seven, seven days, days a week. week. Yeah. So, anything that is ordered today will be delivered before three o'clock, will be delivered to you tomorrow, which is Saturday. And anything after three o'clock um, until one o'clock tomorrow on Saturday will be delivered to you on Sunday. So, and anything ordered after that on Sunday will be delivered to you on Monday. So we keep everybody nice and busy. So yep. thank you for joining us. It's been great having you this week and join us on Monday. We're not going to go live um, Saturday and Sunday. Just unfortunately, the store is just manically yep. busy. busy yep. So we will be back on Monday. Let us know what you would like to see and hopefully we'll be able to help you. So take care. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. Yes, weekend. See you soon. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.